Hello and welcome back to Deus Machina Demon Bane. While dancing through the unending rain of bullets and bombs, Demon Bane continues to destroy the flying robots. Okay, this makes 50! I unleash my Vulcans on a robot that foolishly got within range. It blows apart before hitting the ground, showering Demon Bane with debris. Finally got half! Not being able to fly makes things difficult. Normally Demon Bane would have several ways to deal with airborne enemies, but... The earth starts shaking, like there's a huge river flowing underground, or perhaps an enormous dragon tossing its bulk in some deep cavern. A pillar of water suddenly erupts from the ground, rising higher than the skyscrapers, and it's shortly followed by a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth. The six spires of water form a circle, at the centre of which begins to glow a magic field. The geysers grow in strength as the field shines even brighter, and I can feel enormous power swirling inside the circle. Didn't take long for them to show up. The command center picks up the change as they monitor Demon Bane's battle. Makoto reports the readings in a calm and collected voice. Identity Azov, compression confirmed. Size is Demon Bane class. Something is definitely being summoned. So, they've come. Mr. Tiju, it's... it's materializing! On the screen, they watch as the soaring pillars of water twist and warp, joining together into one titanic water sprout. And it explodes. The water drenches the city like a sudden squall. A giant has appeared at the center of the blast. Kraken. A deus machina. Sinister and evil. Grrrr! Kraken's arms suddenly extend, cutting through the air like two giant steel snakes, intent on sinking their fangs into Demon Bane. Elsa, power up the leg shields! Roger, Robo. Time-space warping. The feedback energy from the distorted space-time grants Demon Bane extraordinary thrust, allowing it to close the few hundred meters to Kraken in the blink of an eye. Urgh! Kraken's arms scrape against our armor. That is about the third or fourth time that number has rung, and every time it's a blowing you know, empty phone line on the other end. It's annoying as hell. Passing behind us, the arms swat several hapless destroyer robots from the sky. Saya! Kraken's huge form is right in front of us, and I shift the torrent of feedback energy into the shape of a circle. Demon Bane spins in midair, and I turn the momentum into a powerful roundhouse kick into Kraken's side. Urgh! Atlantis strike! At the moment of contact, I send the energy. No, I hadn't finished reading that. At the moment of contact, I send the energy surging directly into Kraken, and the shockwave explodes against its armor. Ah! My surprise attack blasts Kraken into the air. It lands hard, pulverizing a high rise, and several other weakened buildings nearby all collapse from the shock. The recoil from the kick blows Demon Bane in the opposite direction. I somehow managed to twist to a sloppy landing. Damn you! Kraken stands up, cautious after my attack. He stays where he is, watching carefully for my next move. T the two machines glare at each other in silence, and taking advantage of the lull, Elsa opens a channel to me. Darling, as you probably know, Elsa's purpose is to stand in for the Grimoire as operator. By feeding the Grimoire's data digitally into its magic circuits, I simulate its presence. It's like a dummy system. So functions requiring actual power will, of course, be restricted, Robo. I know it's the most we can do is move, Demon Bane. So we can't use that like Nakchar, the Mirror of Night Crest, the Scimitar of Barzai, or Thuga of Thakwa. Precisely, Robo. Only weapons available to Demon Bane now are those that are part of Demon Bane itself. The Vulcan Cannons, the Leg Shields, and... The Merrier Impact. No problem. That's more than enough for this guy. Grrrr! Kraken attacks again with its snake arms. Oh, he was playing smart, but he's just a muscle head after all. He's only got the one trick. I power up the leg shields again and dash out the path of its arms. The battle between Demon Bane and Kraken has begun. Following their programming, the destroyer robots target Demon Bane to give Kraken support. But just before they open fire, four robots are blasted from the sky by a sudden beam attack. I won't let you interfere! The White Angel hovers in the sky, her cannon arm poised to fire. And confirming the arrival of a new enemy, the destroyer robots set their primary target. 
five more robots explode, and the remaining robots set their primary target of Metatron and open fire with their Vulcan cannons. Too slow! Metatron streaks through the air on her wings of light, and as she passes a robot, she extends a beam saber from her other hand and slashes it in half. Dear Zhukuru, I'm coming! Damn! Kraken's claws tear off some of Demon Bane's armor. It was close. I barely managed to avoid getting caught. Duh! What's wrong? Your movements are dull! Kraken's arms dance madly through the city, each strike from the massive whips turning another block into a vacant lot. Barely dodging them is the best I can do, but... No, don't get impatient, dear Shukuru. Wait for the chance that'll surely come. Just a momentary opening. That's all I need to hit him with the Lumeria impact. Make him regret waltzing out here all by himself. Ah! I jump over the arms as they attack along the ground. No. Darling! Kraken's claws bite into Demon Bane's ankle. Shit, he caught us! I have you now! Kraken whips Demon Bane into the sky, preparing to smash us into the ground. Vicious G slam us hard. Ah! Ah! Slash cross! A sudden flash of white light slices through Kraken's arm. The severed arm falls away, releasing Demon Bane from its death grip. It hits the ground, knocking buildings over as it flops wildly like an enraged serpent. Metatron! Metatron! Stay out of my way! Caligula roars furiously at Metatron for interfering in the battle, and even faced with the terrible force of an anti-cross's anger, Metatron is unfazed. She merely speaks mockingly. Should you really be focused on me? You seem to be forgetting your real enemy. What? Metatron is right. Caligula, I knew you had muscles for brains. Tremius! Critias! Demon Bane is falling. Kraken is right below us. Energy explodes from the leg shields. A blast propels Demon Bane into a high-speed nosedive straight at Kraken's head. What? Kraken looks up. Too late, you dumbass. The impact assaults Demon Bane with tremendous force. My entire body screams in pain, but I manage to keep from blacking out. On the monitor, I see that Kraken has been crushed beneath Demon Bane. Darling, you're insane, Robo. If you want to be my partner, you'd better get used to it. Besides, there's no way I can defeat a Deus Machina without doing some pretty crazy shit. Thanks to my mad dive, now's our chance. I quickly pin Kraken into the mount position and bring Demon Bane's right hand crashing down. Hirapania system! Access! Lumaria! Don't fuck with me! Darling, disengage, Robo! What? A shiver shoots up my spine at the same time that Elsa screams. But before I can jump away from Kraken, a sudden blast of energy from it sends Demon Bane flying. Ah! Demon Bane lands flat on its back, but I quickly stand up. Kraken is standing in front of us, surrounded by magic power. Barrier field. Shit, I was careless. Ah! As though responding to Caligula's roar, the energy inside Kraken increases exponentially, and the air trembles with the force of his roar, unrefined magic power. Might be in a bit of trouble here. The blast from his barrier has thrown some of Demon Bane's circuits into chaos. Damn, I knew the response time was slow. It looks like the system will take some time to fully recover. Can I evade a powerful attack like this? Dear Yukuru! Metatron's cannon howls. Its beams are all deflected by Kraken's shield. Damn! Metatron ignites her beam sabers and dashes towards Kraken. No, no, that's too reckless. Slash! Fuck! Off! Ah. A Caligula's roar, power surges from Kraken's body. And the blast sends Metatron's small body flying. She smashes into a distant building which splits in half from the shock. Metatron! Winfield, can't we do something? Mr. Dijou, fall back to the lift for now. We'll recover you. Withdrawing might be a good idea. Ah. I don't think he's just going to let us. Metatron! While still buried in the wreckage of the building, Metatron fires into Kraken's eyes. Bright beams burn away at its vision. Mr. Tiju, now's your chance! Activate leg shields! I don't need to be told twice. A full power blast of energy gets us to the lift in an instant. 
and even before Demon Vein has been secured, the lift descends swiftly into the base. When Kraken's blinded monitors finally recover, Demon Bane is gone. Damn! He ran away! No. Something is shaking the earth, and he can hear the rumbling and moving machinery. And Caligula figures it out. They're coming from underground. They must have fallen back to regroup before attacking again. Caligula has... All Caligula has to do now is smash them when they reappear. Maintaining his power at full charge, Caligula waits for Demon Bane to reach the surface. A few minutes pass. Caligula waits, patiently. And suddenly the high-rise building splits in half again. The steel giant leaps from the gate. You're finished! Caligula's sorcery materialises above the enemy in the shape of a gargantuan iceberg. With overwhelming mass, the frozen hammer comes crashing down on the machine's head. When the enemy is completely pulverised, Caligula roars with laughter. <laughs> what a sorry end, dear Jukuru! However... What? Caligula can't believe his eyes. The fragments of the smashed robot. They're not Demon Banes. The colour is different. And Demon Bane doesn't have wings. One of our destroyer robots? He has no time to wonder what happened. Demon Bane is already within his range. Too close for evasive manoeuvres. He tries to erect a barrier, but he can't cast a new sorcery so soon after his last powerful attack. Caligula can see Demon Bane's right hand approaching, burning with the light hand, forming a spell. This is what happened. As soon as we return to the hangar, the first thing I do is send up the destroyer robot, but Elsa and West escaped it. Demon Bane follows close behind on the lift. With the light of dawn streaming through the tunnel exit, I send the destroyer robot out as a decoy. And as expected, Kraken is waiting in ambush. I hear a thunderous boom and the exit is covered with ice. And while still secured in the lift, I ignite our leg shields. The energy warps space-time, distorting my view of the launch shaft. The shockwave cuts into the walls around us. Blasting the lift to splinters, Demon Bane shoots from the mouth of the shaft like a rocket. Demon Bane streaks to the open air, scattering ice and robot splinters everywhere, and I activate the leg shields one more time. The surge of energy vaporizes the ice with its heat. Ignoring the laws of inertia, Demon Bane suddenly cuts a right angle through the air, and right in front of us is... Through the mists of steam, I see a huge shape that must be Kraken. I thrust out Demon Bane's right hand, or already connected to the Hypernia system. All that's left is contact. Looks like he's finally realized that the first robot was a decoy. Probably only took him an instant to figure it out. In a battle between Deus Machina, an instant is decisive. Thirst not! Hunger not! Return to the void! Demon Bane! Demon Bane's hand smashes into Kraken's chest like a hammer of lightning, forcing the spell of annihilation straight into its core. The infinite heat consumes Kraken from the inside out. For this is my ultimate attack. What? No way! Caligula! Caligula! Lumeria Impact! Sublimate! Ah! The sky goes steadily brighter, and the east is burning red. Morning approaches. Even in this city of despair, where the shadow of the demon god falls, morning will come. For all things sooner or later will surely see the sun. Elimination of Azoth's signature confirmed. The enemy unit has been completely destroyed. We did it! The command center erupts in cheers, and they have won a great victory this day. In their hearts, the flame of hope has been ignited once again. It's not over. We're not beaten yet. Metatron is with us. Demon Bane has been resurrected. We, the Haddow Group, humanity can still fight. Winfield? Yes, mistress? The sword that smites evil is still with us. But of course, it is much too soon to, come to succumb to the defeat of despair. Hmm. Despite heavy wounds, this great genius worked it all night after all. I would expect no less. Mm -mm, I'm timey already! Right, that to me seems like a good point to end this part. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next.